everyone, it's Lara from the blog, ourearlyhouse.com. Today I'm gonna to be doing another What We Eat in a Week video. Now on this What We Eat in a Week video, it's going to be a little bit different than my other ones because we just got home from vacation and I decided that while we were there, I would just do some clips of what we're eating. So this is a What We Eat in a Week on Vacation. So I'm gonna keep my phone with me during this video because I actually, throughout the week, just kind of wrote down day one, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and have kind of a running list of what we had. A rule of thumb for us when we go on vacation is we always like to get a house with a kitchen because we have five little kids and so going out to eat isn't extremely enjoyable. It can be hard and it can be really expensive. Now, you will see that we did still go out to eat some, but we definitely don't like to go out for every single Single meal. So we do a lot of cooking in our kitchen. So right when we get there at the beginning of the week, I did a big grocery haul, which I'm going to show you that, and just got a lot of food um, for the week. I didn't really do any meal planning, and when I came home with it all, my husband thought, oh my gosh, you got way too much food. And it was actually the perfect amount. We ate every single thing that I bought, and we were able to go out to eat a couple of times too. We went to Florida for a wedding. My brother-in-law got married there, and so we also have the rehearsal dinner. We had a wedding meal, and I have all of that to show you guys. You will notice that we eat a lot of the same things when we're on vacation. I like to keep it really, really simple so I'm not spending all the time in the kitchen. We did a lot of grilling just to make things super easy. But I also like to make it kind of fun. So I got a few special things for the kids that they normally don't have at home. So it would be fun because we're on vacation. But I like to keep it still somewhat healthy because we eat so healthy here at home. We don't want to go and eat all crap while we're there and then feel kind of yucky. So we eat very clean ingredients still, but we do splurge a little bit and have some fun as well. So with all of that said, here we go. I'm gonna bring you into a what we eat in a week vacation. On the first day, we flew out in our area at 7.45 in the morning. So the kids did a lot of snacking. I brought some lar bars, some fruit strips for the airplane. I also brought hot dogs. So that morning before we left, I boiled some hot dogs. My husband thought that was super weird that we were bringing hot dogs on a plane. But I was like, it's just basically a big piece of beef jerky. I, need, I knew I needed something that was more filling because we weren't going to our house right away because we, didn't have, we weren't able to check in till four. So when we landed, we went straight to the beach and I didn't want kids complaining they were hungry. So they had bar bars and fruit strips for breakfast. And then in the airport, actually, while we were waiting to get our rental car, they had some hot dogs and some potato chips. We were on our vacation with some of my husband's family. So that night, the kids actually went over and stayed with my with their grandma and grandpa, my in-laws. And we went out to dinner with some of our sisters and brothers to a restaurant, restaurant called Sea Dogs. It was really good. Me and my husband, like to get two new things and then split it so we can try more things. And so we got the fish and chips and we also got some blackened grouper fish tacos and it was super, super good. Okay, on day two, we had a really big breakfast before heading out to the beach. We had some fried eggs, we had bacon, and we also made some hash browns. Now for the hash browns, I just did regular potatoes and sweet potatoes, some diced onion, just fried it all in some olive oil.
Also that morning while I was making breakfast, my husband grilled up just some chicken tenders on the barbecue pit outside. It was very nice that they had a barbecue pit because we used it a ton. So that day we just hung out on the beach, we ate some grilled chicken, oranges, and we also had some lar bars. was the wedding rehearsal and it was a build your own Hawaiian barbecue sandwich bar and that was right on the beach. It was really good. They had pork and chicken, pineapple, coleslaw, and little Hawaiian sandwich rolls. Super good, easy, yummy meal on the beach. Okay, day three, we wanted to get an early start, get out on the beach early so we could see the dolphins. Almost every morning we saw dolphins. And so we did cereal at a grocery store in Florida. I found Larbar cereal. I actually was so excited about this. I put it up on my Instagram, did a poll to see if you've heard of it and most people have not heard of it. It was all clean ingredients. The cashew cookie only had seven ingredients in it and the apple pie one only had nine ingredients. There was no sugar. It was sweetened with just honey. Um, the kids loved it, and so they got to have Larbar cereal for breakfast. day when we were going onto the beach, we planned on coming back home for lunch since we got to the beach pretty early. So I boiled up some hot dogs again and brought those to the beach for a snack because my kids are always hungry and I don't want them complaining. So they had some hot dogs on the beach and then when we came home, my husband barbecued some chicken and we did some more of those fried potatoes with sweet potatoes and onions on the stove, which is some olive oil. For the chicken, I found some barbecue sauce that had had no sugar in it. It was made with all great ingredients. So we put some barbecue sauce on the chicken. Now, little warning here. You're going to notice that we burned the chicken. I'm also burning things on the inside. Everything is just so different when you're in a different kitchen. I, it took me all week to figure out the stove. It had this dual setting on the glass stove top and it got so hot on one burner, even on the lowest setting, it would be like so hot. It would burn things instantly. And then on the other burner, I could turn up as high as it could go and it didn't cook. So it took me a while to get used to the stove. So you're gonna notice that there are some things that are burnt with the chicken. My husband had the same thing. He is used to a charcoal grill, not a gas grill. It was different for him. It was still really good. We had to pull the skin off because it was kind of charred, but the inside meat was really juicy and it was really good. So I know people are gonna notice that, but it was just us getting used to new cooking equipment. Okay, that evening was the wedding. Um, I did not get any pictures or clips of the wedding food. I completely forgot to be honest and it was really just busy. The food was upstairs, this like balcony. We were like on the beach, but it was on this like 
balcony and we were outside on this porch and managing getting seven or not seven six plates from upstairs to downstairs and drinks there was no time to get my phone out and record anything it was a pasta bar it was really good they cooked it right in front of you and there was different you could add in any vegetables you want you could use put in um, sausage meatballs or chicken and then you could pick between a red sauce or a white sauce I got a white sauce with the sausage and I did all the vegetables it was onions garlics peppers mushrooms um, spinach I think and I think I got all the kids the same where it was just the noodles chicken all the veggies and the red sauce um, I should have done white sauce for them because it was kind of messy I don't know what I was thinking I just kind of told them some things and that's what we had and then of course there was dessert they had these little cute bun cupcakes that were really good uh, red velvet vanilla and I think I sell chocolate to be honest I didn't have any like I said it was just pretty busy the kids were dancing and there was just a lot going on and so I didn't even have any dessert, but it looked really yummy. Day four, the next day for breakfast, the kids had some more of the Larbar cereal. They also had some fruit. I got a ton of just berries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, some bananas, apples to have in the refrigerator at any times. And so after they had some cereal, they all had some fruit. And that morning I made some sausage and eggs for me and Nathan. And then again, Nathan did some grilling before we're headed out for the beach. We did a lot of hamburgers, just patted them up, and then we brought that with us and had those at the beach along with some fruit. Okay, that night we had some leftover chicken from the lunch the day before and also a couple extra burgers from the beach. So we just had some leftovers while we were warming things up and unloading the sandy toys and all the stuff from the beach. The kids ate some chips and salsa because they were starving. I found some good healthy chips at the store that was made without any corn or grains and it was also fried in avocado oil so I felt good about letting them have that. So they had some chips and salsa and then just some leftovers and then that night and pretty much every night Me and my husband on vacation one of our favorite snacks is this really yummy good cereal So we like granola I got some organic cinnamon toast crunch cereal and we like to mix it all together It's just kind of our thing on vacation. So after the kids are in bed almost every night um, We had big bowls of cereal and we watched movies and it's just super relaxing for us just to kind of wind down from the busy day kids are sleeping because they're so tired from playing at the beach all day and we eat snacks and hang out in front of the TV okay the next morning the kids had some more of their cereal they were obsessed with this and they don't get box cereal like ever and so they were super excited about this so they had cereal again I put some banana slices in it and milk and they had that and my husband and I did bacon hash browns and eggs so this day when we were at the beach we just brought some snacks we did some beef jerky we did some apples and some oranges and had a good snack and then we did a really big late lunch when we got home from the beach and that was barbecue chicken potatoes we did avocado slices and tomato slices um, this was actually around like 3 30 or 4 so it kind of turned into being dinner the kids ate a ton we all ate a ton because we were hungry because we just kind of snacked earlier that day and so that evening we thought it would be fun to go watch the sunset on the beach so I went to the store and just got tons of snacky foods we got some chips that we found that were pretty healthy we got some 
some grapes. We found these little chocolate date roll things that were good for a dessert. Then we got pistachios and we just had some snacks on tiles while we watched the sunset on the beach. It was really fun and the kids definitely enjoyed that night. On day six for breakfast, we made some oatmeal. So I got a big thing of oatmeal at the beginning of the week, not knowing if we would use it all or not, but we just made that. I boiled some water, poured it over that. We added in some fruit. I got some honey as well. And we all just had a big bowl of oatmeal for breakfast before heading out for the day. Now the lunch this day, we had breakfast food because we were leaving the next day and I still had a pound of sausage in there and we had a lot of eggs. So I just fried up some sausage. We did some more of the potato that I've been making. Um, we had a little bit more avocado, and so I just served up that with some eggs. I was just trying to use up all the food in the refrigerator before we left the next day, and so we just did a big breakfast basically for lunch. Now that evening, we decided to take the kids out. We found this cute little place right on the beach called Krabby Bills. The kids were really wanting to try some seafood. Every time we go to the beach, we always go out and get some seafood and they love it. So to make it easy, I just ordered four kids meals of the grilled fish and chips and they all had the same thing. They all really liked it. Now before we got our meals, we got some alligator tail. William, for some reason, the entire vacation was talking about how he wanted to try alligator. So when we saw that alligator tail was on the menu, of course we had to get it and they all got to try alligator. It's actually really good and the kids all really liked it. Now me and Nathan again did our two and split thing that we like to do and we got a grouper Reuben. It was blackened grouper topped with sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and it was served on a marble rye bun. It was Really, really good. We both agreed that was like one of the best sandwiches we ever had. And then we also got the crab stuffed flounder. It was flounder stuff, stuffed with coastal crab cakes and it was baked in a Cajun sauce. And then we got some french fries and coleslaw. On the last day, we had bacon, hash browns, and eggs again. Like I said, we eat a lot of the same things just because it keeps it really easy for me. When I go to the store, I don't have to think about different recipes. I just get tons of food and it's just whatever works and fills us up. So we had bacon, eggs, and hash browns. And then my husband grilled up the last pack of hamburger meat that we had. And this day we actually went to a water park that was right on the beach. And so after we were in the water park for a while and they started getting hungry, we came out and we kind of had a little picnic just in the back of our car. It was super easy, just tuck the kids in the back, hand them all a burger. We had some apples and oranges. And then we went back in and played at the water park again. Then when we got at home pretty much the only thing left in the house at this point was some more oatmeal out of the big oatmeal thing that I bought so we made the kids some oatmeal for dinner and after they went to bed my husband went and picked up some sushi at a local sushi restaurant really close to the house that we were staying in so we got a few different rolls we had some crab rangoon and we also got some vegetable fried rice and we again ate this while watching a movie it was super good and a great way to end our vacation the next day on the way home home on the airplane. We did some Lara bars again for the kids in the, in the morning and then we were home in time to eat lunch at our house. So there you have it. That's what we ate in a week on our vacation. Like I said, I like to keep things really simple. I like to keep things fun and have things that we normally don't always have at home yet still healthy so everyone's feeling their best and can enjoy their vacation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will put a link to all of my cook with me videos down in the description box below so you can watch that. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.